Welcome to the Civil War Guru Show. My name is Steve Munson and I am the Civil War Guru here. Today I'm here with Brennan Cole, my cameraman, and we're going to get a, some tight, close shots of this sword, so we're not going to be in the picture. But what we have here is an outstanding, standing Lady Liberty jeweled sword. This sword belonged to General Gosfernor. Let me spell it. G R O S. V-E-N-O-R. Gosvenor, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, he was uh, actually born in Connecticut in 1823. And he, when he was 15, he moved to Ohio. And when the war came around, he joined the 18th Ohio Volunteer Infantry. He actually joined as a private. And he rose through the ranks. And this particular sword has got a magnificent presentation on it which was presented to him as a major. And he, he had his greatest accolades of the Civil War was the Battle of uh, Lookout Mountain and Chickamauga. Actually, at Lookout Mountain, it was the 18th Ohio that helped save the Rock of Chickamauga. What's our famous guy? George Thomas. So the two battles, the Lookout Mountain and the Chickamauga battles, this guy was here to save the day. The 18th Ohio fought hard. And this sword was actually presented to him before that battle. And it's presented to him by his men. Spectacular sword. And it's actually got the rare Cincinnati maker on it. It's got the Hamill maker on it. But these, they call them statue swords. It's got a magnificent standing Lady Liberty. And Brennan will get up here and, and, and get some close-ups of it. Actually, this guy actually carried this sword. Uh, it's got use on it and the blade. It's got some, some mild pitting on it. And, uh, of course, we haven't tried to clean it up and don't intend to clean it up. And it's got this great script and grave uh, uh, presentation, which you'll see that. It's got like four uh, stones in the guard, two on each mount, and then three on the drag. But this is a spectacular sword. And, and, and also, I didn't want to leave out the jewels on the little serpent head. This is a little eyes. But you rarely get a hold of these swords. These, and most of these swords were presented in 65 when these guys were getting out and the men had the money and they'd buy it and give it to him and set him on his way. This is actually given to him, you know, uh, before the battle of Lookout Mountain in Chickamauga. And then after those battles, uh, he did some provost martial work, the 18th Ohio did. And then he was in Nashville for the battle of Nashville. So this guy was right in the thick of things. And uh, we're going to include, uh, uh, Brendan's going to get some close-ups of a picture of him so you can see what he looked like. But uh, again, these things very seldom come up, and uh, and to see one actually used is kind of surprising to me because everyone I ever seen was mint, mint, mint condition because they never got used. So as in the Western theaters, we always see they use their equipment. They didn't look at it. Spectacular sword, spectacular presentation. I just can't say enough good things about it. Used, yes, it is. Mint, no, it's not. But I'd rather have something I know was used. Than something that hung on the wall after the war. About value, uh, it, in the heyday of the the Civil War collecting a few years back, this sword would bring thirty five, forty thousand dollars, and uh, and the values now is probably uh, you know in a in a twenty twenty five thousand, maybe thirty thousand dollar range. Depends, you know who's collecting, and if somebody's an avid collector for Ohio goods, this is really strong, eighteenth Ohio. Sweet. And so from the old Civil War guru, have a great day.